Hello guys. So in this video we are going to talk about circular linked list. So in our previous video we talked about singly linked list and doubly linked list. So the only difference between a circular linked list and the other two linked list is that in a circular linked list the head and the tail node are interconnected, right? So uh, so the head nodes previous node is going to be the tail node and the next node to uh, next node to the tail node is going to be the head node right so our code is going to be the same as you know it's 18 90% similar to our previous code about uh, doubly linked list we are going to be we are going to make all the same methods some more if if yeah some more like find and uh, we can make maximum minimum methods like function uh, methods which are going to return the minimum value or maximum value right and all the other methods are going to be the same so let's start creating our code so first I have to include this heading implementing a circular linked list. Let's start with our class node. Now, def defining the instantiation, this is going to take data. Self dot data equals to data. Self dot next equals to none self dot prep equals to none okay. code looks the same as same as the previous codes about doubly linked list okay so I want to add doubly just to make it clear that we are going to make this code according to a doubly linked doubly linked list right now we have to make the class circular list so we have created a class circular list and define in it self dot head equals to none self dot tail equals to none and self dot size equals to zero. Zero in the beginning of the code because by default there are no nodes in our list and just to make it clear I want to add this comment here uh, double underscores mean that the variables or methods are strongly private in Python. Okay. So now let's begin with our methods. So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, append, prepend, and traversing methods. So def prepend, we are going to take uh, prepend data, define append data, uh, define traverse forward plus define traverse backward plus define list size so that we can track the size of our the number of nodes in our data structure and if it is going to return 
cell dot size right okay so these are the methods for this video and another uh, different uh, some more methods are going to be discussed in our future videos okay so let's start with the prepend method so our first condition is going to be uh, if there is no node in the list so if self dot size equals to zero and not self dot uh, oh sorry yeah self dot head and not self dot tail so checking for head and tail uh, is optional but i just want to make sure that this statement checks for the size in the head node and the tail right so what we have to do is we have to create a new node here the new node will be node and it's going to take oh sorry data now self dot head is going to point towards new node self dot tail is again going to point towards new node now we have to interconnect it these and we have to interconnect these two nodes head and tail nodes right so self dot tail dot next is going to be self dot head and self dot head dot spread equals to self dot tail so the next two tail node is going to be the head node and the previous to the head node is going to be the tail node and now we have to check oh we have to check this condition if there exist any one node so if there exist at least one node then else so we have to prepend right so prepend means add adding before the head node but in circular linked list we are technically adding between the head node as well as tail tail node right so the self dot tail dot next equals to new node so we what we are trying to do is interconnecting self uh, tail node and new node right and new node dot prev equals to self dot tail now we are done interconnecting the tail node and the new node now we have to interconnect the new node and the head node right so new node dot next is going to be self dot head and self dot head dot prev is going to be new node now one more step is step is left and which is self dot head is now new node so new node new node is our new head node this time okay finally self dot size is incremented by 1 okay so we are tracking the number of nodes in our list okay so we are done with prepend method now we have to copy until line 26 we have to copy this and we are going to paste this because first half of the method is going to be the same the append method also takes care if there is no node in the list and if there exists only one node now what we have to do is 
cell dot tail dot next equals to new node new node dot prev is equals to cell dot tail we are doing the same thing that we did in our prepend method so uh, new node dot next equals to cell dot head and cell dot head dot prep equals to new node so we have interconnected new node with the tail node and we have interconnected the uh, new node and the head node also now we have to do something like this cell dot tail equals to new node so this time new node is our new tail node okay so new node is our new uh, new tail node this time so finally we have to increment self dot size variable by one okay just to keep a track on our list so let's complete these two methods current node equals to self dot head so for traversing in forward direction we have to start from the head node while current node what this line means is while the current node is not a none because if it's a none the loop is going to terminate and we have done the same thing in our previous videos about doubly linked list so we have to print current nodes data and now we have to update current node and we have to hop on to the next node okay but to terminate the loop we have to add this if statements if the current node becomes the head node again because the list uh, the loop will go on and on and on because in circular linked list there is no node which points towards unknown right so when the current node becomes the head node we have to just break out of the loop and this statement is used to terminate the loop okay and now again for the traverse backward current node equals to self dot tail this time so we want to start with the tail node so while current node print current node dot data now current node equals to uh, current node dot prev this time okay because we are traversing in the backward direction okay and again we have to add this table yeah so again we have to add this if statement if the current node becomes self dot tail this time because while traversing the uh, list the current node is again going to point towards the tail node it's going to reach to the tail node again so we have to use the break statement right okay. so let's check our code and i hope the code works fine so if name equals to 
main my list equals to circular list. So we are creating an object of our circular list class. So my list dot append. We are going to append one my list dot append two this time and my list dot append three. Now we have to traverse through the list. So my list dot traverse forward. We are going to leave some space. My list dot traverse backward again leave some space. Now we are going to print size of the list and it's going to be my list dot list size. Okay. So let's check it. Okay, so the code seems to work fine. One, two, three are have been appended, and this is traverse forward, and this is traverse backward, and our current list size is three. Okay, so let's prepend some data this time. My list dot prepend zero. My list dot prepend minus one. My list dot prepend minus two this time so let's run our code okay so zero minus one and minus two have been prepended so this time minus two is going to be our head node three is going to be the tail node and this is traverse backward and current list size is six okay so we are done with all the methods that I had to cover in this video, prepend, append and traversing methods. In the next video, I am going to talk about uh, add after and add before methods. Alright, so see you there.